Diffraction is the slight bending of light as it passes around the edge of an object. The amount of the bending depends on the relative size of the wavelength of light to the size of the opening. If the opening is much larger than the light's wavelength, the bending will be almost unnoticeable. However, if the two are closer in size or equal, the amount of bending is considerable and easily seen with the naked eye. In the atmosphere, diffracted light is actually bent around atmospheric particles. Most commonly, the atmospheric particles are tiny water droplets found in clouds or the air. <laughs> Gotta add that. Diffracted light can produce fringes of light, dark or colored bands, an optical effect that results from diffraction of light is the silver lining sometimes found around the edges of clouds or corona surrounding the sun or moon. Uh, it says the illustration above shows how light from either the sun or the moon has been around small uh, droplets in the clouds. Optical uh, effects resulting from diffraction are produced through the interference of light waves. To visualize this, imagine light waves as water waves. If water waves were incident upon a float residing on the water surface, the flow would bounce up and down in response to the incident waves, producing waves of its own. As these waves spread out in all directions from the boat, they interact with other waves. If the crest of two waves combine, an amplified wave is produced constructive interference. However, if the crest of one wave and the trough of another wave combine, they cancel each other out to produce no vertical displacement, destructive interference. This uh, concept also applies to light waves. When sunlight or moonlight enters a cloud droplet, light waves are altered and interact with another with one another in a similar manner as the water waves described above. If there is constructive interference, the crest of two light waves combining, the light will appear brighter. If there are destructive interference, the trough of one light wave meets the crescent of another, the light will either uh, appear darker or disappear entirely. Now you can use that on some of your, um, you know, uh, star videos, moon, sun, uh, th that concept could be used on those. Um, now, I slowed this part down to uh, point two five times. Okay, um, and what I want to show you here is I'm going to uh, focus this, uh, this shot in here, and as I focus it in, it should be coming up here shortly. And I did slow it down quite a bit. Because I didn't stay on this boat as long as what I would have liked to have. Um, because I really didn't see what was going on. Uh, looking at a little tiny screen on my camera. Um, really would like to be able to hook this thing up to a nice laptop or a nice tablet. And be able to see a little bit better instead of the tiny screen that is provided with this camera. But here as I focus it in, now look at this man's swimming trunks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's funny that I'm looking at a man's swimming trunks, but yeah, I mean, look, even look at the boat. You see how his swimming trunks just appear to be going away, popping back up, going away, popping back up. Um, that is diffraction. Um, and, and these are what we're observing. And this is observable diffraction. Um, you know, uh, I had... Uh, somebody make a comment on my channel to look into diffraction. So as I started looking up uh, the definition of diffraction, and there's many definitions, but you will find exactly what it means, and it fits a lot of my uh, videos perfectly. Now, there are other elements that 
um, do come into play, um, especially in my videos over in uh, uh, Cocoa Beach, where um, I had water swells that were keeping me from seeing the whole horizon line. Um, and that water swell was blocking me out from seeing any further. But right here, you can obviously see that uh, at times this guy looks like he's naked. Uh, and his wife, too. Her shorts seem to, uh, her, her trunk seemed to disappear also. Um, and that's due to the diffraction. So when you have observable, observable diffraction occurring, you can obviously show it, and you can obviously see it. Now, I am either the luckiest person in the world to catch all of my um, boats at the edge of, you know, being just over the edge of the curvature of Earth, or it's not the curvature of Earth. And I stress that it's not the curvature of Earth that's uh, causing this to occur. Um, this is caused from the diffraction of light. Um, it's pretty obvious. Um, especially when you take some other things into consideration that are in this video as well as some of the last videos that I just put out. Um, and these are the things that, you know, we need to uh, research more. We need to really bring this out in the open. We've been lied to. We've been told and taught untruths justice. Um, so, you know, we need to rediscover our world rediscover what we're looking at and rethink everything because what we have been taught is not reality um, you know boats going over the curvature of earth have been proven or disproven many times by the flat earthers but nobody's listening why because it's all supposed to be pushed and washed underneath the table you know, nobody wants to listen to the flat earthers say that the world's flat Oh no, we all know it's a sphere because we were all taught it. Well, our parents were taught it. Their parents were taught it. All kinds of people were taught it way before we were born. And that's why it's been so uh, imprinted into our brains that we live on this uh, uh, sphere, this ball. Right here, as I'm looking at this video, every time I watch my videos, I see more and more stuff. And... You know, this is what I'm trying to bring out. This is what I'm observing. And what I observe is not what we've been taught. And that's, you know, one of the big things is, is you know, everybody says, well, everybody knows the world is round because we've all been taught that. Well, of course we've been taught that by the evil pricks of the world controlling this world. You know, there's many things that have been hidden from us. And if we all knew all these hidden items, we would all be pissed and the world would be thrown into chaos because we'd want to kick all their asses. Now, here's another little piece that I slowed down again by uh, 0.25 times. Um, you, you know, again, am I the luckiest guy in the world? Man, I'm catching everybody on the edge or just over the edge today, you know? Um, again, this is diffraction. I can't see the lower end of their boat because... Uh, the light is just being diffracted up over the top of them. Um, and, you know, I mean, look at the sign right next to them. You can almost see where the water line should be at. But it's not there because these people are well beyond that. And they're a little farther away than the last people were. But that doesn't mean that they're over the curvature of Earth. Um, as you've seen on the last part that I slowed down, that it really does show diffraction. And this is what happens when, um, you know, an object gets even farther away. Then things totally stay missing. And these are not mirages that are not there. They're not an illusion. This is a boat with a guy, two guys out there fishing, cut off halfway through the boat, caused from diffraction. So, again, you know, we need to study more on diffraction and really show um, that we are using their own science against them. And this is where good science comes in. You know, there is good science out there. I'm not against all science. I, I'm for the good science. Um, recently, I watched a video that uh, was showing how uh, a man um, was... Um, coming up with a cure for cancer, pretty much all illnesses. Um, and he uh, he was pretty much put put down 
uh, drunk through courts and caused to uh, he, the, the man started drinking. He was a scientist. He he wasn't used to all of this publicity and whatnot. Um, so you know they the, the Food and Drug Administration came in, took all of his equipment, and put this man to you know put him in his place. How should I say that? You can't cure stuff because you know we got things in place that are making profit. You know, we can't take all of this stuff and uh, change it just because you solve all these worldly problems. Um, so, you know, the, the more people make it easier on humanity or bring stuff to light for humanity, it is all swept under the rug by the big profiteers of the world, by these evil pricks that have been controlling it, controlling all the information that we receive. These are the guys that are ruining it for the world. Our world should be a paradise. There is free energy technology out there that has been just squandered by these guys. They keep kept it hidden from us because they want to use it for themselves. Um, and this is where, you know, we as people, as humans of the world, need to unite. And I've been pushing uniting and, and peace. You know, that's what I want is peace. Uh, unity. Um, we don't need to be having all these wars in our world, killing everybody. Um, why these big world leaders sit up in their damn thrones and just, you know, bark orders. But are they really the true authorities or is there somebody else behind that scene? I think there's somebody else behind the big scene that these are their little puppeteers that they play. So, you know, until that person exposes himself, which we already can probably figure out exactly who that person is. Um, but, you know, that's pure nor say. Um, we can do it our way and it will occur. The time's times, uh, times a ticking. And we're getting down to the very last part. Um, so I hope people are paying attention. And I hope people realize all these lies that we have been told. Um, I'm going to uh, focus in on this tripod. This is the Bayport tripod that I'm filming from uh, this Coon Island Key. And, uh, you know, I, I've got more to say about the fraction here. This is from another, uh, another definition. And, um, you know, I, I implore people to uh, go out and do their own studies on it go out and research this themselves and I, I think you'll find that you know a lot of the stuff that we see that it been told something else we'll find that I'm right on this I know I am This is from another uh, definition, um, and this comes from Wikipedia. It, it is possible to obtain a, a qualitative understanding of many diffraction phenomena uh, by considering how the relative phase of the individual secondary wave sources vary, in particular the condition in which the phase difference uh, equals half a cycle in which case waves will cancel one another out. The simplest description of diffraction 
are those in which the situation can be reduced to a two-dimensional problem. For water waves, this is already the case. Water waves propagate only on the surface of the water. For the light, we can often neglect one direction if the diffracting object extends into that direction over a distance greater, far greater than the wavelength. In the case of light shining through small circular holes, we will have to take into account the, the full three-dimensional nature of the problem. And the problem is, is when you're looking out over a long distance of water, they want to tell you that it's just a freaking mirage and you ain't really seeing it. And it ain't really there. So don't believe your damn eyes. I say bull crap on that. And, uh, you know, we need to, uh, you know, you can look into the slit diffraction, single slit diffraction, double slit diffraction, uh, the diffraction grading. Um, but these are all the things that I implore you to do because this matches a lot of my um, observational videos, even from to stars. Um, so, you know, uh, study and look at uh, diffraction. Uh, again, diffraction is uh, b basically what we're seeing, what I'm observing in a lot of my videos. Um, and one of the things that I want to make it also clear to you um, is that depending on which way my camera is facing away from the sun toward the sun sun behind me sun in front of me sun to the left of me sun to the right of me depending on which way I'm facing that camera I am going to get a different view out on the horizon and you can see that in many of my uh, boat videos that I do where um, there's one, my shrinking boat video, where the boat just gets smaller and smaller and smaller, right to the point where you really cannot see this boat no more. Um, and then I've, you know, done some where they're out in front of me and they just appear to go to the vanishing point. They go from a boat to a, uh, a distorted boat to a blob to just about nothing. Um, but then, you know, we got stuff on the horizon line, like, you know, down the coast, looking at buildings, you lose the bottom end of the building due to diffraction. And that is due to the, all the water um, evaporating at the surface of the water. You know, remember now, uh, water will diffract light. So we got a lot of diffracted light going on right at the surface of the water. And this is why a lot of times you cannot see the bottoms of these buildings. Now I want to tell you that it's because of the curvature of Earth and you can't see over the curvature of Earth. And in any of our videos, if we was to climb higher, we would see it. And that's not because we're looking over the curvature of Earth. It's because we're changing the angle, looking through these water particles, um, you know, that our camera is viewing through. So the diffraction of light is a lot less than the diffraction of the light standing at the water level or at you know five feet above water level um, so you know they say sea level they mean sea level so when you're standing at sea level say five six feet high you are going to be looking through a lot of evaporated water on the horizon and this is why when we look straight up at the stars they do appear different um, and also too like the sun and the moon as they're rising they appear to be bigger why is that because of the diffracted light as you look through water it will magnify things you can also study that or research that all of these things I bring to your attention because that is exactly the way I see my world now um, I used to not look at it this way matter of fact I used to not even look at it but until I came into this picture to debunk Flat Earth and became a Flat Earther myself, um, I can no longer defend the globe. Um, I was a globe defender and now I want to destroy the globe. I'd like to take every globe in every classroom and smash it flat and show people that we don't live there. Okay, And I don't care if people want to come on my channel and criticize me. I would just ignore you or block you because I'm tired of wasting my time arguing with people that have been brainwashed. And if you don't think you've been brainwashed, uh, check again because I guarantee you have been. All right. So I, again, um, I'm going to let you watch my video here. 
Um, I think I've said enough, but watch my video and see what you think for yourself. Thanks for watching. All right, I'm back here. Let's see. Got a manual focus again. I'm going to have to focus it in here. Look at that. You see them clouds farther in the back. Barely see them. camera Dang it. I'm trying to do it slow I'm not at full zoom I'm trying to let you see those clouds there and the water itself mirroring Trying to show you how that works, how it's working here. See more clouds. Swinging it. Give you a little idea. Look at there. And all them calm spots out there are mirroring the sky. Right there, the water and the clouds. Those clouds are just as high way out there as they are right above me. So, <laughs> that's the tunnel of truth right there. You go out there and the clouds are going to be just as high up as they are right here. Let me zoom in on this guy. up on them. Look at there. Is he in the water? He's sitting in the water. You can see his boat. You can see the reflection. That is not a fucking mirage. So when somebody says a freaking mirage, you're full of shit. The boat is just being mirrored and, and and the word mirror is derived from the or the word mirage is derived from the word mirror. Look it up. Look it up in a fucking dictionary. So, what you think you'll see in most of the time is an illusion. But this is not an illusion, because I see... I slowed this part down so you could watch this fish. Pay attention to uh, the right side of your screen. You're going to see this fish come into the screen. Here he comes. And he's going to jump a few times. Check him out. Dying fish, buddy. And disappears. Ha. I love that. I love showing you these things. See the boat with my fucking eyes, and I zoom in on it. <laughs> Sorry, getting irate. Get too hyped up. I don't like the hype either. But look at there. Look at you, you can't tell me that you don't see that boat sitting in the freaking water and the mirroring is is hiding the very edge of it the very edge it's kind of hard to determine 
where that edge actually is because of the mirroring. Actually, it's due to the diffraction and these other things all combined together which occurs that causes these uh, phenomena. Now there's the tip of uh, these islands that come out from uh, Hernando Beach. He's going uh, out in the front side of it. He's getting some wakes. And when these boats go by, they really wake you. Like I said, my boat's been pushed up on the shore by all these big boats. It's an aluminum boat, so I hope the hell it ain't wearing a hole in the bottom of my aluminum. I'm kind of sitting on a lot of dirt though. There are some rocks there. And now he's heading to the channel markers right here. He's going to get in them. He's getting in the channel. Now, let me zoom back. You can kind of get an idea. I mean, I can barely see these channel markers. So, and if you want to know what I see right now with, with my eyes, is about right there. That, that's about what I see with my eyes. So, whoa, we can jump in there. I see them a lot better. It's like, holy shit, Batman. Do you see that? Do you see that? <laughs> Let's continue. Okay. I'm looking westward. Looking westward. Another boat leaving out the channel. Somebody standing there. Hey, look at there. Somebody over there fishing. Looks like he's got a cell phone in his hand or a or a drone or something. A boat. I'm not sure what he's doing. See how shallow it is out here. You party boats come over here, jet skis, they bring their dogs and bring inner tubes and Okay, let me pull back. see what I'm looking at here I'm try to get you at the distance that I'm seeing it uh, it's hard to tell too because when you go back and you watch it on your computer you say well um, that's really not what I seen so I, I really shouldn't say that But I'm going to continue on here. Let me give a zoom out this way. That bird rat. These bird racks are usually like the last channel marker going out of a channel if people aren't familiar with, uh, you know, doing a lot of boating or whatnot. But I don't really see much of that right there. I 
can't even say that that's what I see. It might be more like might be more like that. You know, that's I'm I'm barely seeing it. Yeah, probably more like that. Okay, let's continue swinging it around. You know, keep an eye on the tide because it is starting to come up. Look at there. The channel marker is as tall as the cloud. So is that cloud that high up? <laughs> or is it if I drive out there to where that cloud is right there? Let's see if I can focus that cloud in a little better. Now if I drive out there where that cloud is, would it be as high as the clouds right here above me? Probably. Plus, it's really loaded down with some, uh, um, you know, agua water in it. I don't, I don't see that. Or maybe, yeah, I do see a little bit of that. It's just a little bitty dot out there. See what it is. Let's focus it. Now here's another good example. Now I only slowed this down uh, fifty percent. Uh, but I want you to see that you see one guy standing in the boat and then here shortly you'll see another guy pop up from nowhere. So is he popping up from the other side of the curvature or is he popping up from where the light is being diffracted away from the bottom of the boat? It is being actually diffracted. Diffracted above the boat to where you can only see half this man's boat. You can't even see his passenger. But here shortly, and I'll show you, he's kind of wearing an orange jacket. I believe it's orange. Uh, but you'll see him pop up just to the right of the guy in the pink. There he comes. There he just popped up out of nowhere. So again, you know, am I just lucky to be catching all these boats on the edge of the curvature? Or is this because of diffraction of light? And this is why I really, really stress for people to research this themselves. And uh, go out and buy you one of these cameras. They're not a, that expensive. They won't put you in uh, the poor house. I mean, yes, yeah, so $600, $500 is a lot of money to spend. But it's cheap when you want to find truth for yourself. Um, and, you know... People have photoshopping, they have all kinds of stuff. Uh, I guarantee I don't even know how to use Photoshop. I can't even use a new program that I bought uh, to make uh, better movies or better videos because uh, I can't, I, I haven't been able to learn how to convert them. Um, so until then, you're just going to get stuck with the, the, the conversion program that I do have, um, which isn't that great a one, but. It's really pretty good. I mean, I, I'm not going to complain about it because um, this one wasn't absolutely cheap either. But um, uh, I recently got a new computer. Um, I had to. The other one I had was a Frankenstein and it was pretty old and I had it pretty loaded down. Um, so hopefully this one will last me a lot longer because I spent a good penny on it. Um, but you know, I, I, I did it all for the best interest of, uh, of us, uh, you know, people searching for truth. And this right here is my proof to the community that we don't live on a globe. We live on a flat plane, and it's diffraction, um, reflection, all the other things that I've mentioned in a lot of my other videos that causes these effects to happen.
these phenomena. Uh, so I'm going to let you get back to watching this and get back to my original video. Ain't much left. I thought maybe I could read what that sign said. I can't. I don't think I can. careful because I can't see my uh, my tripod unless I my screen unless I throw a rock here and stand on it plus two I've got a uh, the tide starting to come in so let me see if I can swing this bad boy around some more here Um, spying that boat for the next minute. <laughs> Full zoom too. 83 times zoom. And all I see is a little pin dot out there. Zoom back real quick. <laughs> so oh, the sky, that mirror is mirroring the sky. Oh yeah. So the boat's on the water. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, share, and enjoy them. Um, I make them free for you. Alright, thanks for watching and have a good day.